Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. In other news today, we know that uh, Vic is going to be at Open Jazz Studios in August the 10th. It's a single day where he will be just doing, obviously, autographs and probably taking photos. But Lynn again, so it just seems to be that Lynn is going to be like the key aspect of this uh, video, for the, well, of today's videos, I should say. And she's actually put down a link and she wants people who follow her to let this Open Jazz Studios know about who they got coming. Yeah, so they're going to be using all the false stories and everything else and whatnot to come and say, oh, look at this, you're going to have this guy, you must be like him then, which is exactly what they've done to a few other people at this moment in time. She's actually called a lot of people the same thing that she's called Vic, even though there's video evidence of her doing worse than what she said about Vic. And it's interesting to see, because she's got this there, so, you know, guys... Since this is, you know, Vic is trying to get her on cons, here's the contact form for the place sponsoring him on August 10th. I'd let them know about all this and the twins and everything else to showcase how they should not want him on their premises. And to me, this is just one of the worst childish things that they can do. Because they're going to get all these people, you know, open jar studios and they get all these replies, you know, all these texts or whatever, emails tweets, you name it, they're going to get them up the wazoo at the moment. And they're going to be like, what the hell's going on? If we want Vic, we want Vic. That is it. These people just don't seem to like it that he's, you know, he's becoming very successful even more after all of this. Because, obviously, he's going to all these cons, you know. He's making money at all these cons, you know. All the big cons want him. And it's just like, yeah, you know, if this is going to happen, it's going to happen how they want it. And... You know, he's been very composed throughout his entire ordeal, and it's been great. You know, it's been fantastic to see how he has acted. You know, in all the situations when he's, you know, he's just been there, you know, he's been respectable to everyone. He hasn't said a bad word about anyone. Even in his depositions, he hasn't. Yes, he did cry in one of his affidavit, and not sorry, in his uh, deposition. But again, that was because he said he's not going to be able to see fans, you know, and give them new memories in his anime performances. Which I can see why he would get upset at that, because when you've played a character for so long, and all of a sudden, that's taken away from you, man. That is rough. That is horrible for him. You know, he must be so sad, because... When you think about it, and, you know, he's, you know, been 15, 20 years doing these characters, everyone loves him for it, you know, these characters give meaning to a lot of people. You know, it's a bit like how when you, you know, before anime came about, when you had, you know, people were saying about Superman, about Batman, Spider-Man, you know, Spider-Man in the 60s when that first came out, people were like, yes, this superhero is, is about me, you know, it's like me, he's an everyday guy, you know, which was awesome. And that's what, you know, Vic, with the characters he was playing, it was amazing. It's like, yeah, you know what, this is great. This is fantastic. You know, I can look up to this character, which they do. You know, they draw him, they go to cons, they meet the voice actor. And to them, they're not seeing a voice actor. They're seeing that character. You know, it's like, oh my god, there he is. You know, oh my god, you know, there's Broly. It's like, oh my god, here we are. There's, you know, it's, it's, that's what it is. That's how people see him. When they go to conventions, it's not like, oh, you voice so-and-so. It's like, yeah, yeah, there they are. You know, that's exactly what it's like. It's like, to me, Todd McFarlane will always be, basically, will always be Spawn. Because he created Spawn. You know, I'd be like, oh my god, that's him. There he is, like, you know. This is what people don't seem to understand. And saying, you know, filing this, so people will literally go out of their way. And be like, oh my god, here you are, look at this, look what you're doing. It's like, well, no, you can't do that. That's not right. Because you are literally trying to get a gentleman now away. You know, you're trying to get him from making a living. You're trying to get him thrown in jail or whatever, or whatever you're trying to do. Because, again, a lot of you have come out and said, oh, if he just apologises, then yeah. But it's like, well, no, it's like, what do you want? You know, you've ruined his life already. What else do you want? You know? So it'd be... Interesting to see how all this pans out now. Mostly because they don't like it because obviously Vic 
has gone sky high. He's skyrocketed due to all of this. It's gone the complete opposite way of what they were saying. And to me, that's glorious. I love it. So, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you lovely people soon.